What's going on everyone, I'm Boone, and today I'm going to show you how to create these cool little animated map markers inside of Adobe After Effects. It's super easy and super fun. And if you'd like to download my project files, just follow the link in the video description. So the first thing I want to do is go over here to the Shape tool and select the ellipse. And if I want this marker to be a different color, I'll select the color here. I'm going to set the stroke to none. And then I'm going to go down here to the comp panel and click and drag. I'm going to hold shift to constrain the proportions. And then I will release. Now I want to center up this element to my shape layer. So if I just click on the layer, you're going to see that the anchor point is here. And then I have the shape element here. If I click, double click again on the element, you're going to see that this particular element has its own anchor point. Now I want to center this up with the shape layer. So to do that, I'm going to open up the ellipse element and go down to the transform properties of this particular ellipse. Now I don't want to get this confused with the transform properties of the layer. So just be sure uh, to be aware of that. Okay, I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to go to the position of the element and I'm going to set that to zero. Now if you happen to know a better way to center these shape elements inside of the shape layer, I am all ears. I would love to know if there's a better way to do this because I for one always struggle with this and I feel like it takes up a lot of time. Okay, so now I'm gonna zoom in and I have my ellipse. What I wanna do now is create that point. I want this to come to a point at the bottom. So to do that, I need to convert this to a Bezier path so I can have some Bezier handles. So for this, I'm gonna open the shape element back up and then right over the path, I'm gonna right click. And you see now it says convert to Bezier path. If we don't do that, just look down here. I have the size and position attributes here, but I'm gonna go ahead and convert this to a Bezier path, and now you're gonna see that it's a simple path attribute. But if I double click over here now, you're gonna see I have four vertices and they all have Bezier handles. So now I'm gonna just simply grab this bottom one and I wanna click and bring it down a little bit. And I'm gonna hold the Shift key, which is basically gonna lock that to my horizontal position. So I'm gonna bring it down to about here. And then I'm gonna go up to the Pen tool, I'm gonna click, and I'm gonna to switch to the Convert Vertex tool. So I basically wanna get rid of these Bezier, Bezier handles. So I'm gonna click there, and then there we go. Now we have the outline of our marker. Now I wanna punch a hole out of this marker. Right here in the middle, I want it to be transparent. So to do that, I'm gonna create a new ellipse. So I'm gonna select the shape layer, and I'm gonna go ahead and rename this map marker. And with this selected, I'm gonna grab the ellipse tool again and simply draw another ellipse. I'm gonna draw it out here actually. And then I'm going to open up the second ellipse. Well, first we'll drag it down under the first ellipse. And I'm gonna open up the transformation properties of this element, set the position to zero again, to put that right in the middle. Now we can't really see it. So what we wanna do is we wanna merge these paths and basically subtract ellipse two from ellipse one. So the way we do this, so I can go ahead and click Add, and then select this Merge Paths right here. And now all I need to do is open this up and go to the Blend Mode here and set Subtract. And now we've knocked that hole out of there. And if I want to change, you know, I can go ahead and go to Ellipse 2 and rename it a hole. And then I can go to the actual path and I could change the size if I want but I'm happy with that actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And you know, I might wanna come back and make some modifications to this marker. So I wanna keep things organized here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a group. And I'm gonna put all these elements inside the group, but it's important that I keep them in this order because there's a specific render order. And for that merge pass to work, I need to make sure that that maintains the way that it's set up. Okay, so this is ready. Now, the way that I'll be using this particular marker, I might be pre-comping it. So I want the tip of the marker to be right at the center of the composition. So to do that, I'm gonna select my map marker, the whole entire shape layer. I'm gonna grab the pan behind tool. It's also known as the anchor point tool. Now I'm gonna go grab the anchor point and hold the command key. And as I hold that command key, that's really gonna snap everything in. So I can snap that right to the bottom center. Now I can just right click on this layer and go to transform and select center in view and then that will automatically center that. And just to make sure it's centered, I'm gonna turn on the title action safe, and you can see right there are the crosshairs of the title action safe. Now, you might be thinking that you wanna use the align panel and align this horizontally and vertically, but that, that will align it to the proportions of the layer. So if I use the align tool, it will still put the center here in the center of the comp. 
All right, now I'm going to create the radar ping, which is going to be the only really animated element of this particular graphic. So I'm going to go back and grab the ellipse tool. I'm going to make sure that I don't have this map marker selected because I want to create a new shape layer. Now I'm just going to go ahead, create a new symmetrical ellipse, go down and make the position set to zero. And that's going to be right where that map marker is. And now I'm going to go up and we're going to animate this. Um, it's going to animate up or it's going to animate in over the course of one second. So I'm going to go to the one second mark and I'm going to rename this layer real quick. Radar ping. Now we're at one second and there's going to be two particular properties which we're going to animate. It's going to be the opacity as well as the size. Now we're going to animate the opacity of the particular element. So I'm going to go and I'm going to animate the opacity to zero. So this is the end of the animation. It's going to go from 50% to zero. And now we're going to animate the size of the ellipse. So we're going to go to zero and we're going to go from, or I'm sorry, it's going to go zero to, uh, let's try 500. Actually, I'm going to press the U key so we can only see these. There we go. Okay, now let's do 500. Okay, there we go. Now we've got a little two-dimensional radar ping. And I'm going to quickly gr grab the keyframes of the size, and I'm going to hit F9. And then I'm going to open up the graph editor and make sure I have the speed value, the speed graph selected. And then I'm just going to mess with the influence here so that it animates a little bit better. Now naturally I want this radar ping to just continue, like repeat continuously. So if we look right now at what we've got going on, we've got our nice ping, but we want this to just loop. You know, we could copy and paste keyframes, but we're going to be a little smarter than that. We're going to add an expression. So I'm going to go over to Opacity, Alt-click, and then go to the Language Expression menu, Property, Loop Out. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that same expression to the size as well. We're going to have that loop out. And now we will have our seamless looping radar ping. And for the last step, I'm going to bring this radar ping underneath my map marker. And now we want to simply make this 3D. So I'm going to hit the 3D button. And then I'm going to grab the rotate tool. And I can just click right over the X. And um, let's let's rotate that and actually to see the I want to look at the properties here um, orientation so we want to put that at like 285 okay let's see what we got here all right so there it is quick and easy and the cool thing is you can customize this very very quickly if you want change the colors change the opacity throw a glitch in there double up on the radar pings make the marker spin i mean your options are you know the sky is the limit all right i hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more cool tutorials